Mr. Speaker, let me begin by thanking you for making that communication. And uh, I think it's about time that we set matters straight. I want to comment on your communication. Maybe just react to it in a very civil and polite manner. You've indicated, which I completely agree with you, that this House shall be guided by the standing orders. Mr. Speaker, I want to request you to abide by that onwards so that we can be able to make progress. I'm happy that you referred to Article 107 of the Constitution that gives authority, or your authority as a main speaker, to anyone else seated in your seat. We have an issue that relates to the minority side. I think, Mr. Speaker, if we are being true to ourselves, then I would beseech you to look back into the standing orders so that the standing orders do not end up becoming a sword that only uh, cuts one side. The sword should be, if it is used for both sides, if the standing orders are quite clear and they are explicit in terms of what should follow, then that should be the case. The main bone of contentious, Mr. Speaker, has been on standing order number 23. The other main issue has been on issue subjudice. These are the two matters that this House has pronounced itself more than once on what should ensue. So, Mr. Speaker, with following on your communication, I'd like to beseech you to re-examine everything that has happened here. Yes, today you found its, you know, fit to reprimand us for our behavior. And being very polite, I would say the standing orders have been drafted to guide this house. It will be very unfair if the standing orders will only be used to reprimand any senator who complains, but when a matter is completely explicit, it can, it, 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 it's overlooked. So, Mr. Speaker, now that you're back, I'd like to invite you to relook at the standing order, particularly standing order number 23, and look at the communication that was given by the minority side, and then give us a way forward so that we can be able to put this matter to rest. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Samson. 